Hi, uh, this is Emmanuel Marino from RPG Gamer, and I am with Conrad Tomaszkiewicz, the game director of The Witcher 3. Awesome. So you guys had this great uh, E3 demo going here, 45 yeah. minutes of like, full open world gameplay. Yeah. Um, how's the response been so far? I know we just opened, but still. Well, everything right now is just fun. Uh, we just fine. We get the best of E3 wow. in GameSpot. We are very proud of it, and <laughs> I hope that everyone will like it. Um, so one of the big things is like the world is just that much larger and more expansive yeah. than the yeah. Russia too. Um, how much would you, how much would you say the bigger it is than the previous game? Oh, it's for me it's hard to put the number. I think that it's 20 is at least bigger than the, the Witcher 2, and I must say that it's a huge challenge. It was a huge challenge because right now we we're polishing the bugs, but we need to redesign, you know, approach mm. for the creating uh, the game like this and. Uh, on the beginning uh, of the Witcher franchise, we're focusing on the uh, on the story of the games because right. this is the most important for us. Uh, I believe that immersion uh, is uh, the player immersion is the most important because uh, then you want to play the game. And the immersion is uh, when you feel that you are the player, when you got the choices, when you got the consequences of your actions, when you, when the story is uh, is told this way, that you want to explore it. And you know, we basing on the Sapkowski novels, uh, Polish author who wrote them really, really good. This is not a normal fantasy setting. It's like mirror of uh, reality we live in, in the fantasy world. And I think that it's also very important to, for us to, to give this feeling for the players and you know, to help them find out themselves in this world. Right. Um, one of the things I was curious about was the combat. We saw yeah. like a basic glimpse of this combat in the yes. demo, but like, how much more complex is it? Do we bring in combo systems, uh, lots of parrying, blocking, dodging? Like, how yes. much more in depth does it? Yes, go? it's 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 very deaf. Uh, you know, for the purpose of the presentation, we need to change the balance of the monsters because mm. they are really hard, and uh, you will not fit in the 45 minutes with it. Right. Uh, in normal game, uh, in the full game, uh, you need to parry, you need to use uh, your signs in tactical way. Uh, every of the signs got different, uh, different uh, advantages on the on the opponent. Uh, you need to uh, drink the potions, you need to use the bombs, you need to use the crossbow, you need to counter attacks in proper proper timing. Uh, you need to dodge, of course, and uh, and it's really really complex. But on the other side, it gives you the uh, freedom. Of fight. In the Witcher 2, we got this problem that every animation uh, was quite long, <laughs> and you couldn't, you, you, you can't, you know, break it when you want, and uh, that's why the responsiveness of the combat wasn't so, 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 so good, because uh, there was delay between uh, pressing a button and a dodge, for example. Right now, every animation is very short. Uh, we're building the sequences of the animations in, uh, from the small animations. That's why when you're pressing the button, everything is going smoothly. And of course, uh, we got very, um, very nice and very big character development, which unlocks the special attacks for you. It unlocks the second version of the signs for you. It gives you uh, a, a different ability of using elixirs and bombs. Uh, we got also a um, very advanced crafting system which, um, and, and alchemy, which, uh, which of I'm really proud of because uh, for me, the problem in the previous games and, and, and uh, globally in the games when you get alchemy is that you always keeping these potions in your inventory till the end because right. it will be it will be better just time to use it, yeah. Just in case. The, just in case. It will be some boss or some cool enemy and you, you know, putting it. And I, I, I told very a long time what to do with this. To, to tell players, use these potions. Do, you know, play with it. And I wake uh, one day with the uh, idea, which I passed to the, to the team, and they like it, that what would be if these potions will be infinite? Mm. And we change approach to the alchemy. It's like this that you creating a potion and you got these potions in your inventory. Mm. You using them, but you don't need to gathering any any you know herbs or additional ingredients to remake them. Right. When you uh, preparing to the battle, creating the fireplace or sitting here the fireplace in, in the in the tavern, they automatically refill. Oh, that's nice. And you can use them wherever you want. 
And you can also plan the combat because, of course, you got this toxicity bar and you need to be careful what you're using because if if you fill this toxicity bar, you will get you know uh, decreased uh, uh, statistics and it's harder to fight. But on the other hand, uh, you got the freedom mm. of using alchemy. And we, uh, to keep also this alchemy feeling, we change it this way that every of these potions got three levels. And you gather the herbs to upgrade the potions, and you need to fight recipes to upgrade them. And they are stronger and stronger. That's great. So it's a good way to sort of trick players into using what they have to make the exactly. combat better for themselves. That's fantastic. Um, you mentioned a few of the failings of the previous games, but that you learned from them, you made them better. Yes, of course. So, we, you know, we, we listen for, for our mm. fans' response, and we know what they don't like in the previous games. Uh, for example, the previous game was too hard for them. I mean, the uh, prologue wasn't uh, good. Uh, in, in, they, 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 it didn't, you know, the. Um, it didn't put you into the world and to the mechanics very well. Mm -hmm. Right now we change this approach. Right now the prologue is obligatory. It's in the in the uh, I mean the tutorial. It's in the prologue of the of the game, and the learning curve is very smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need to know previous games. You don't to, uh, know mechanics. We teach you slowly and smoothly how to use it. We tell you. Uh, who is the Witcher? Why are you doing this stuff? Okay. Who are the important characters on the screen? Why? What is your motivation? Why you want to do this? Mm -hmm. And I hope that because of it, everyone will go smooth into the game, and they will want to, you know, to, to stay there and also explore it a few times because uh, you know we got this huge non linearity and uh, we got three different epilogues and around. 40 or 50 different world states. It depends, you know, what you are doing. The choices got consequences, and it's not enough to play a game once to see all of the content. Right. So this would be a great jumping in point, even for brand new to The Witcher. I've never read the books, yeah. I never read the comics. I can start here and have a great time. Exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so one of the things that I was really uh, interested about was that you guys decided to do Deer and Free from day one yeah. on a AAA game. I mean, yeah. that's, that's a little brave, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we you know we done it also with The Witcher 2, and and the response of the community was huge because actually we are also players, and uh, and I feel bad with this that if I don't got internet connection I cannot play my game. Why? You know it's it's sick because uh, I bought the game, I, I got single player campaign, I don't I don't play in multiplayer, and I need to get single you know the internet connection. It's 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 really weird. And we believe that uh, that when you will treat people right, mm. they will uh, respond in the same way. You know? right. And we, uh, it was funny, but when we released the second feature, there was the uh, threat on the on the forum. Uh, actually, it was some torrent forum. Torrent forum. <laughs> and some guy uh, told them that uh, he liked the game and he wanted to download it. And where is the crack for this game? You know. Mm. And all of the community starts to you know yell on him. Buy the game. What you're doing? They are cool. Why are you doing this? You know, and I really believe that this approach uh, can change the industry and can show the proper way. Because I think that you know, the of course the money is important. Because if you don't get money, you cannot continue work on the next games. But it's not the most important. The most important is the uh, satisfaction of the players. You know, immersion. They, they need to the, the game needs to be perfect. They need to uh, like it very much. They need to you know lose themselves in the game, and they cannot get any distractions like DRMs. Mm -hmm. Because if your if your provider drops the connection and you cannot play and you are frustrating on it, for me it's a distraction as you break the, the experience from the game. Awesome. So you're thinking not only about the immersion in the game, immersion outside of the game, of all of it, the whole package. Yeah. Um, so before we wrap this up, are there, I know this whole thing is your baby, but is there something yeah. like you're really proud about at the, at this time around from previous titles? You know, for me, I, I'm pr the most proud, uh, proud of, uh, from the, the story, because this is the end of the trilogy. Mm -hmm. It's done this way that you don't need to know the previous parts, as, as, as I meant before, but the story is so cool mm -hmm. that we never before got such stories like this. And I, I, I believe because you know, for me, the games are not uh, simple entertainment. It's for me, it's an art, like you know, great movies, great books, and so on. And the games are a combination of all of this. You got uh, really cool uh, experience, really cool, uh, cool storyline. You can choosing what you are doing, and in the same way, you, you're watching you know cool stuff in the uh, on the screen. And I'm proud that we connection this all of this all of these things, and we're creating something more than just you know computer game. Right. Awesome.
So, uh, that's Emmanuel Marino with RP Gamer, and thank you again. Thank you very much. And have a great E3. Exactly. Thank you very much, man. Thank you Appreciate very much. It.